Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. I'm back again to talk about chi-square test for independence. So uh, without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. We'll go over a sample worked out problem with TI-84. <clears throat> chi-square test, test for independence problem. Can we conclude there is a relationship between the class of vertebrate and whether it is endangered or threatened? Use level of significance 0 0.05. Is there a different result for level of significance equal to 0 0.01? So this is a contingency table, like we have categorized animals into two categories. First, whether they're mammal, bird, reptile, amphibian, fish. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five categories of animals. These are along the columns, vertical columns. Also, we have further categorized each animal into whether they're endangered class or threatened class. Endangered class is in the first row, threatened class in the second row. The numbers outside the parentheses in each cell, for example, endangered and mammal, number is 68. For bird, the number is 76. These are the actual observed counts in each category, okay? Similarly, for mammal, threatened, threatened is the second row and mammal is 13, observed count. So we first add the observed counts. Those are the numbers outside the parentheses. In each row, the first row, we total those numbers, we get 247. The second row, we total, we get 182. We also total each column. For example, for the first category, mammal, 68 plus 13 is 81 and so forth. Now we add the total of all columns, like 81 plus 91 plus 37 plus 23 plus 137. My grand total is 369. This is my sample size. Similarly, if I total, take the total, sum of the totals of the two rows, 247 plus 122, I also get 369. This is my sample size or grand total. Null hypothesis. There is no relationship between the class of vertebrate and whether it is endangered or threatened. This means that the class of vertebrate and whether it is endangered or threatened, they're independent. There's no relationship between them. This is the null hypothesis. The alternate, there is a relationship between the class of vertebrate and whether it is endangered or threatened. This means that the class of vertebrate and whether it is endangered or threatened is their dependent, okay? So as I told you, first we calculate the row totals and the column totals, then we add the two row totals or the five column totals and we get a grand total of 369, that is my sample size. Now I will calculate the expected count in each cell, okay? The formula for the expected value is row total times column total divided by grand total. So for the mammal, the expected count in parentheses is row total, which is 247 for the first row, multiplied by the column total for the first column, which is 81, divided by grand total 369. And I get... 54.22. So I repeat the calculation for all the expected counts, okay? Now I will enter the observed counts, which are the numbers outside the parenthesis in matrix A. How do I do that? I do second plus on top of enter, then uh, number four, clear all list on my calculator screen, enter. Then I will do uh, second, I press second button, I press second button, and then X minus one, X to the power of minus one. This is the fourth key in the first column. And I get matrix names math edit. I highlight edit in the top row. And I then I press number one, okay? Now notice I have uh, five columns and two rows. Now the first number for matrix A is the number of rows, which is in our case two, okay? 
then multiplication sign i do enter and it moves to the multiplication number after the multiplication sign in the number of columns is the number of columns here we have five categories mammal bird reptile amphibian and fish so i make it five and hit enter now the matrix open up which is two rows by five columns so in the first i will enter the expected value for mammal mam uh, yes mammal 68 then the next category bird 76 next is uh, these are the observed counts these are the observed counts that i'm putting in matrix a 68 76 then 14 then 13 1 3 then 76 that's it okay now i go to the second row observed count is 13 next one is 15 one five next one is 23 next one is 10 next one is 61 okay so i'm done with my entering the observed counts in matrix a now i again press second x minus one now i go to edit and i want to highlight matrix b which is number two so press number two make it a two by five two rows five columns here i will enter the numbers in parentheses in each row that is the expected count so the first expected count is 54.22 next one is 60.91 next one is 24.77 next one is 15.11 next one is 91.7 okay then i'm in the second row first expected is 26.78 next one is 30.09 next one is 12.23 next one is 7.6 and the last one is 45.3 okay so i've completed entering the observed counts in matrix A and expected counts in the numbers in parentheses in matrix B. Okay, then what do I do? I, okay, I press the start button, then highlight the test on the top row. This is step six, scroll down to chi-square test. Okay, the first one chi-square test, select it. My observed is matrix A, my expected is matrix B. I do not change anything. I go straight down to calculate and calculate the test statistic, which is chi-square value of 45.31. And my p-value is very, very small. It cannot be greater than one, it cannot be three, okay? So since my p-value is so small, p-value is less than alpha equal to 0.05, P value is also less than alpha equal to 0 0.01. Since P is less than alpha, decision is reject 80. And we say there is enough evidence at alpha equal to 0 0.05 and 0 0.01 to support alternate, which says there is a relationship between the class of vertebrate and whether it is endangered or threatened. Okay, so I will stop here today. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to put a comment. I will get back and answer your question. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel because I come back every week with a new problem solved with TI-84. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Take care.